Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I'll be looking at another can. And it's another can from uh, the Brewdog Brewery in Fraterborough in Scotland. And it is a, a can of their 77 Lager. It's 4.7% ABV. It was uh, initially primarily uh, produced for the export market, I think mainly for uh, Scandinavia. So, I've had this many times in the bottle, I've had it on draft, I've had it on keg, everything. Uh, and, I, and I do enjoy it, so. I just got in from work, feeling a bit exhausted. I thought, I want something refreshing and light, and this is just perfect for it. I'm loving these cans from Brewdog, I'm a big fan of punk in a can. Anyway, let's get it open. Got my Brewdog glass. As it clears out, it's a really nice uh, pale, um, pale yellow ale with a slightly greeny edge to it. It's like it's like a lot paler, a lot greenier than you can see on camera. But you can see on camera, it looks lovely. It's a lovely looking beer. Nice fr a foamy head of white, tight white kind of bubbles. Really fluffy kind of head on it. Anyway, it smells like a pilsner. It's got a nice herbal edge to it. Oh yeah, a really nice kind of assertive herbal edge. I'm not sure what hops are in this. Don't really say on the can. But yeah, really nice crisp. Herbal. A bit like, maybe like flat leaf parsley. Nettles, things like that. Balanced out with a lovely um, sweet malt quality as well. That's lovely. It's a lager, but it, it, for me, it's got a real kind of proper Czech or German Pilsner quality to it. It's been a while since I've had one of these. It smells wonderful. Well, that's, that's spot on. That's, it's a really good lager, that. Crisp, clean. Nice kind of biscuity malt, but everything's really fresh, really crisp. Slight kind of citrusy quality, like a like a lemon peel, but kind of quite. That's quite a mild quality, but it's great. Oh, I could drink this far too quickly if I'm not careful. Not much left in this can. It smells lovely. It smells, as I said, like a really classic Pilsner. Not a not a mass-produced kind of um, lager with loads of adjuncts in it. Not too gassy for a lager as well. Yeah, really nice. Herbal quality to the to the hops, probably um, uh, I'd imagine some um, German hops, some some sour, some Hersbrucker, uh, uh, middle through that kind of thing. Clean, crisp, it's perfectly balanced. Slightly drying quality on the end as you'd accept, uh, expect with a lager this is a this is one of the better um, servings of 77 I've ever had I think there's a lot more hop in the um, in the can maybe in the bottle and on draft I think you get a little bit more uh, of that kind of biscuity slightly bready malt but I'm loving this it's really dry and fresh Lovely, slightly bitter lime quality to the aftertaste. I polished that in no time. Polished it off in no time, just under five minutes. We've been talking. So yeah, cracking stuff. As I said, at the moment I don't think it's available in the UK. I know some were available on Brewdogs. 
uh, website for a while. Um, I do encourage you to try it if it's in a bottle, if it's a can or whatever, but I'm liking the can. So yeah, big thanks to James, a brew dog, for sending me a couple of cans of 77 Lager. As you can see, 4.7% juxtaposition Pilsner. It's great. It's probably one of the best, uh, if not the best, canned lagers I've ever tasted in my entire life. It's an absolute cracker. I've always been a fan of this beer, and this is a it's a well packaged, well produced Pilsner. It's great. So yeah, Brewdog 77, um, 77 lager, 4.7 percent. Get on Brewdog.com, buy some great beer, and thanks to James. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popsy.com. I'll just have a little bit more in my glass. I'll toast you goodbye. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Cheers.